Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate for you as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get angel answers, romance angels. Sorry, my nails are like purple. I colored my friend's hair purple, so now I have purple on my nails. <laughs> All right, so romance angels, and then we're going to get some tarot. We're going to look at what are you struggling at within the relationship or within yourself within the relationship. We're going to look at the kind of suggestions or the current energy that you're feeling, and then we're going to look at future energies as to the outcome, possible outcomes, and um, future energy that may come in for you. We're going to get some clarifiers and close out with an oracle. All right, so we got a lot to get to for today. All right, so Romance Angels for Capricorn Romance. What do we got going on? We have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Having that clarity, that's what I always say in a lot of my readings is making sure that you take that time to figure out what is it that you want to have happen. You have to figure that out first. And then you can manifest fest that and you can work towards that, right? You can know that what is the path that you want to be on. We have peaceful resolution. So it could be that there is a disagreement within your relationship or there is kind of you are at opposite sides and you have to decide what it is that you want to do. So that way there can be a peaceful resolution and you guys can figure things out as to what may be going on. All right, so let's look at what is going on, what's the problem, what's happening with Capricorn, what are you struggling with? We have King of Swords. I'm just going to take, because that was like half the deck, I'm just going to take that one because that was the only one that I saw is the Four of Swords. All right, so we have King of Swords. We, I feel like it's overthinking, like just step back, yeah. Um, I feel like it's possibly overthinking about something and you just need to step back. You need to sort through what you're feeling. And same with that card, which says clearly decide what it is that you want. And what I was saying in the beginning is taking that time before you take action on anything is that you figure out what you want. And I feel like you don't know what you want. Like that's what you're struggling with. Like you're trying to figure out, okay, do I want to stay in this relationship? Do I want to work on this? Do I want to talk to my partner about something? Do we want to compromise on this situation? Like whatever it is that's going on with you and your partnership, you have to figure out what it is that you want to do. Where do you want to go? How are you feeling? I feel like you may be overthinking things, over processing things. Sometimes we kind of get these ideas in our head and we're just like overthinking and overthinking and overthinking. And I feel like it's taking a break, like just to possibly just step back from something to take a time out. Sometimes when things happen with people that we will have an automatic reaction and then we say something or we do something, we can't take those back or we're trying to fix that, which is added on top of everything that already happened. So I feel like maybe it's like, okay, instead of having an automatic reaction, let me step back, let me think about things, let me sort through what it is. Let me find clarity. I feel like you don't have clarity about something within the relationship, whether it's, you know, a particular situation or, or do you even want to be in the relationship? So I feel like you don't have clarity about something and that's what you're struggling with. All right. So we have the nine of pentacles. We have justice, um, which is Libra and we have 10 of pentacles. So I feel like, again, it's taking that time to figure out where do you want to go from here? What do you want to do from here? I feel like a lot of times we just kind of have those reactions and we don't think about what is it that I truly want, right? What is my Ten of Pentacles? What is my Ten of Cups? What is my Nine of Cups? What is my wish, my dreams, my goals? Let me figure that out. Because when you know what it is that you want to have, then you're able to put the energy and the effort into it. But if you're just kind of doing a little bit here and a little bit there and you're spreading yourself too thin and you're like, yeah, one day I want to be in the relationship, the next day I don't want to be in the relationship, I feel like if you can sort that out 
or at least you don't have to be a hundred percent about something but feel okay this is the direction that I want to go and this is where I want to go this is what I want to do if you can have that direction then I feel like that gives you more motivation to work towards things um, future under knight of swords a death card death cards coming out a lot Scorpio eight of Pentacles I feel like eight of Pentacles is a new way of doing things it can also be about taking a closer look at things seeing things from a different set of eyes I feel like again once you figure out what it is that you want to do or, or what you want to have happen or if there's something that's been on your mind that you need to discuss you take that time you sort through your feelings and then you go ahead and make those actions that I feel like that helps you to move forward within the relationship but I also feel like that helps you within if there's another issue or something else comes up you're like okay I need to not be in my old behavior. I need to be in my new behavior where I face things, I look at things, I figure out how I can get past this and I can move on from these things. King of Pentacles. He's been coming out a lot for Capricorn and I feel like it's kind of coming into your own, not rushing anything, not forcing anything, not pushing anything, not overthinking anything, but taking that time to sort through what it is that you need to do, figuring out where you want to go and then taking those actions to make things happen. Sometimes I think that if we can just focus on what it is that we want or where we want to go or what we want to have happen or, you know, I feel like if we can spend more time doing that, then I feel like it just makes things easier. All right, we have Six of Pentacles, which is sharing, which I feel has to do with communication between you and your partner to make things easier, to have to have a calm conversation, <laughs> right? And I feel like that has to do with making sure that you pick a time where you're both feeling rested, you're both in that mindset of, okay, I want to work on this, not picking a time when someone is exhausted or tired or irritated or agitated, picking a neutral ground to where it doesn't feel like one person has more power over the other person. Um, I do feel a thousand percent, which is just my opinion, that if you go to neutral ground that I feel like the conversation is easier to have and it's you're able to resolve things better. I feel like when you do it kind of in a place where the two of you always are, sometimes it can work. I'm not saying that I can't, but I, but I kind of tend to, I feel that it's easier to talk about things when you're not in that same area. And if it did, if you tried it before and it didn't work, then trying in a neutral area, right? Someplace different. Three of Cups, getting back that happiness and that excitement and that joy that is within the relationship, right? Having that peaceful resolution, working things out. Definitely Ace of Swords is that peaceful res resolution, figuring things out. Good energy coming in. New good things to focus on. New ways to handle situations. New ways to compromise. New ways to work through things. New ways, again, we have the King of Pentacles is to sort through things and figure things out and learn from this new way of doing things, of looking at things, not overthinking, not overprocessing, being clear on what it is that you want to have within the relationship, deciding what you want, working through things, time for change. I feel like this kind of moves this relationship to a different direction, right? To a different, like it's, I feel like within relationships we have those moments where there's a shift in the relationship where things kind of change and they kind of level up and I feel like this is one of those we have the ten of cups again okay we have two eight of pentacles we have two king of pentacles no we only have one eight of pentacles oh I was thinking a six of pentacles six and eight no let's see we have the two King of Pentacles and the two Ten of Pentacles. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Knight of Swords. We have two Knight of Swords. <laughs> Knight of Swords is that forward progress, that forward motion. And, but I also feel with the way that this card is depicted, it's that he's le getting ready to charge forward over that cliff and I feel like it's taking chances, but we have the eagle which represents success and victory and 
kind of taking those chances and exploring and expanding this relationship into a new area. Communication is key. Communication is key within this situation, right? Having that peaceful resolution for whatever it is that is bothering you or is, is where you are at, at odds with your partner. And communication. But you, again, you have to figure out how you feel. You have to figure out what is most important for you to talk about. You have to figure out how can your, what do you need from your partner in order to feel better about this situation, to have that resolution? What do you need? And your partner has to figure out that too. What do they need from you? Strength card, Leo, okay? Being strong, being confident, knowing that, which I said in the love reading, I think it's a love reading I did earlier today, is um, having disagreements as part of a re healthy relationship where you're able to express those feelings or those concerns that you may have about a situation or if you are having that conflict or somebody's being stubborn or some, you know, that it's, you're butting heads, but you're also able to have those moments where you may have more of a heated argument, but then you're also able to come to that resolution and say, okay, this is how we're going to work this out. This is how we're going to move forward. Like, you know, do you feel good about this? Do you feel good about this? Do we feel happy? Do we feel ready to move forward? And being able to have that communication to move forward within the relationship. And I feel that that is important within a relationship because you have to have that, right? You can't just sweep things under the rug. Because when you do that, that pile becomes really big, just like I said in the love reading earlier, is that that can create so many problems that there's no coming back from that, and that's not where you want to be. And if, if that's where you continue want it to be, I feel like it's, well, do you really looking at, do you want to be in this relationship? Just something for you to think about. I just feel like time is so short. Right? I just feel like time, we don't realize it when we're younger. We're just kind of like, you know, we're, we're going through things and we're just like, oh, I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to get through this. And we don't realize how time, how short time is. And it's like, you don't want to take like so long to get to a point to where you realize, oh, I wish I had done this earlier and I've wasted all this time. It's good that you get to the point where you realize that those changes need to happen. But I just feel like if, if maybe like some spark could happen or, or, or some thought or some light bulb and you're like, you know what? Yeah, I don't want to waste decades of my life in a relationship where I really don't want to put any effort into it, right? Or I'm really not feeling happy or I'm not feeling appreciated or respected or, you know, this, I just feel inside that there's no more connection and, and I don't want to waste, I'm not trying to say to leave a relationship. I'm just trying to say is to look for that happiness, right? to not waste time on things that you feel that you know inside is not what is right for you or that you don't want to work on. Just something to think about. And are there some changes that need to be, to be made so that way you're not wasting all of that time in something where you knew all along that you weren't happy. But you do have to be at that point where you're ready to make changes, right? It's not an easy thing to do if it's something that you're used to or it's something that you've been in for a long time and it's been a habit and it's hard to move away from that and it's scary. But if you're in that frame of mind that you have to make some changes, then you, you, you will make it happen. I just, I think my biggest piece of advice that I would give my old self would be to not waste so much time being miserable and being unhappy. And But I know that I had to go through a process in order to get here, but I just feel like I just wasted too much time doing that. I just feel like if I had less time on that, you know, I just feel like time went by so quickly. Because I'm in such a good place that I want to have every second that I can get, right? For whatever time I have left, I want every second that I can get to be positive. And I don't want to waste my time on, on stuff that is just what I used to w waste decades on. I don't want to do it. Wishing well. I love it. This card has been coming up a lot with the Lenormand, and that's the wishing well. And that is with the bucket there and the crank, like I said before, is that you have to wind that crank in order to have the bucket go down to the bottom and then scoop up the water and then 
use the crank to bring the bucket back up to the top as you see all those cranks and the wheels and the cogs and all of that. It's working on that, working on those wishes, working on those dreams, working on that happiness, right? Working on this relationship, coming to that peaceful resolution, realizing that time can be cut short at any moment, right? You can think you're in the clear, but then something can happen at any moment that can change your life forever. And to not waste time on frivolous things or being in energies or situations that you truly feel that are not right for you. So making those decisions and to go after your wishes and your dreams and your goals and having that perfect relationship or that satisfying relationship within yourself and with others. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will see you tomorrow.